Cal and welcome to my world. Today I want to take a look at some video gaming books. Uh, in particular the Encyclopedia series from an author, an author called Chris Scullion. Hope that's me pronouncing the name correctly, if not very sorry. But yeah, um, I've shown off a couple of these that I've got um, in pickups videos in the past. But there is a new one in here and I want to do a dedicated video to all of them that are released so far. So, first we have the NES Encyclopedia, at least all the uh, English and uh, North American uh, releases for the Nintendo Entertainment System, along with a few other sort of uh, European region exclusives where some might have only come out in Brazil and things like that, um, some Japanese games in there, uh, just and some unofficial ones as well, I believe. Yeah, and these books are fantastic. So, um, as everyone might know, there's a guy, um, Pat Contry, Pat the NES punk as he's known as, um, and he does you know, big Nintendo guidebooks, um, and he they review every single game for the systems, um, yeah, so it's a very, very thick, heavy book, and they give ratings at the end, and that's great for collectors and things like that, but he's in America. To buy the book with postage from America costs a hundred pounds. Yeah, it's insane. So it's no good. I want to want, but nah. This guy, Chris Scullion, in the UK, getting hold of the books, considerably cheaper. Yes, they're not in-depth reviews, but they go over all the games still, and they are fantastic books. I love them. I also hate them, because my want lists, every time I buy these books, shoots up insanely. I think I mentioned before, like, my want list for the NES was like 20 games. After reading the book, it went up to around 90. 90! Games that I'd forgotten existed, games i never heard of before. They looked interesting, I would make a note of them while I was reading the book. Look them up afterwards on the internet, it's like, oh wow, this game look, actually looks really good. Maybe play it on an emulator and test it out. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, these books are phenomenal for that. Um, so goes through, talks about all of the uh, the games and things, so we've got the you know, Adventure Island there, what year it was released in, what regions it came out, published and developed them. Yeah, lots of things, Bonk's Adventure, Bomberman, yeah, Excite Bike, some uh, obviously get to larger sections than others depending on the game, obviously more important, more well known, things like that. And then of course each one has a, uh, a fact about it is always pretty cool if anything that's sometimes more interesting than reading about the game um, yeah so let's see if we can get a random game here okay uh, let's have a look at Rambo on the uh, the NES here so the fact Rambo gains experience as he kills enemies when he levels up his strength increases the Japanese version of the game has an anger meter instead of EXP though it works in exactly the same way Okay, that wasn't as exciting as I was expected it to be. <laughs> but yeah, it's an interesting fact. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, oh, uh, Rad Racer here. Rad Racer featured in the most infamous scene in the Nintendo-themed movie The Wizard, in which bad kid Lucas plays it with a power glove before turning to the protagonist and saying, I love the power glove, it's so bad. I'm sure we all know that. Yeah. So, lots of really, really interesting stuff in here. Like I said, the facts, <laughs> I'd have to uh, have gone through and cherry-picked some, unfortunately. I didn't do that. I will have some B-roll footage showing off some pages, and hopefully some more of the interesting facts. But yeah, this is really, really cool. And then, like I said, once you get through uh, the main bit, you then get to the unlicensed game section. A lot of people, I'm sure, know about uh, some of these ones. Uh, Baby Boomer, that's kind of what an infamous one. Bible Adventures, the Caltron 6 in 1. Yeah, uh, plenty of good good stuff in there. Very happy with that. Um, yeah, and then of course, after the original Nintendo, he released the Super Nintendo one. Uh, mine does have the American cover on it, obviously, with the American one. Uh, there is one, obviously, for people in the UK with the PAL system. The reason that I have the American one on is that uh, I have a friend who works at the publishing company that publishes the books, uh, Sword and Pen. Uh, sorry, Pen and Sword. And um, he buys me the books and gets a discount on them and then I just pay him. Uh, this one he got me for free because it was like a sample version. The only difference being that it has the American cover. 
and for free I'm not going to complain about that. So yeah, the Super Nintendo um, and this one also includes a, a Virtual Boy section just because a very small library, something to add just to the end of the book uh, for a little bit extra like we have the unlicensed games in the NES version. Uh, so again, yeah, my want list for the SNES increased immensely when I picked this one up and looked through. Uh, things like uh, Eek the Cat. Um, yeah, it looks quite interesting. Um, game. Uh, games that you definitely don't want to get, such as The Great Waldo Search. <laughs> yeah, tons of really cool stuff in here. Like I said, you got... Uh, Pages dedicated uh, to big releases there, like The Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past. Wow, so yeah, got tons of really cool games shown off in here. And again, facts. <laughs> Can I find a decent um, movie, f a d decent game fact? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, here was one for Monopoly on the Super Nintendo. Since it was originally created in 1935, more than three trillion dollars of fake Monopoly money has been printed. Wow. <laughs> cool fact. Obviously not about an actual game, but the, the board game that it's based on. Yeah, oh, Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Fact. Should you still be craving some actual arcade-style Pac-Man action, Pac-Man can stumble upon two cartridges in the game which unlock retro versions of Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. There you go, an interesting fact. You didn't know that you can unlock Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man in Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Why you would want to do that when you could just go and play Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man elsewhere instead of playing Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's uh, rather rather crazy. And uh, like I said, uh, there were a lot of Super Nintendo games. Oh, crikey. Jesus. There we go. Yeah, so of course we then have the uh, Virtual Boy stuff at the end. And don't forget there will be some B-roll, hopefully, at some point in this video showing off some of the pages. And then lastly, the newest release that I uh, got. It came out last year, but I only got it this year after finally meeting up with my friend. Uh, you know, due to COVID lockdown things, we not met up with each other. Uh, so I finally got this one off him, and that is the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis Encyclopedia. Yes, we're going Sega now, and this also includes Mega CD and 32X games, the add-ons for the Mega Drive slash Genesis. Yeah, so this one again um, added a bunch to my want list. I'm not as familiar with the Sega systems as I didn't grow up with them. I grew up with the Nintendo stuff, other than the, uh, <laughs> the Game Gear, but yeah, different things. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff in here again. Tons of awesome looking games, such as Awesome Possum kicks Dr. Machino's butt, or Machino's butt, whatever it's pronounced. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, probably not the best game to get, but interesting enough. Yeah. Ooh, one called Body Count. Mm. Um, fact for it, uh, when you kill the enemies, they explode into red blobs of glow. Red blobs of gore. And despite the title, the actual body count is likely to be zero. Oh, um, so despite... Uh, what? So when you kill enemies, they explode into red blobs of gore, so despite the title, the actual body count is likely to be zero. But surely if you're killing them and they explode into blobs of gore, that's killing them. Oh, I get it. There's no body left behind. <sighs> yeah, some facts are better than others in the box. <laughs> yeah. So, tons of uh, games in here, again, that I just didn't know about. Um, and a lot of here, of course, region uh, differences. So, we've got... Uh, oh, uh, like the Mega Games 1, 2, 3... Um, Mega Game 6, Mega Game 6 Volume 2, 6 Volume 3, which is confusing, where's Mega Game 4? Uh, but yeah, those were the uh, European versions, I think there were some different American versions, you know, with the multiple games in one, so you get to see all the differences in those. Yep, and then like I said, get to the back pages, and you get 32X and uh, Sega CD games, and some interesting facts about all of those. 
So very happy with all three of these books. They are a very, very fun read. Um, yeah, uh, ooh, not bad as well, pretty heavy, nice. Obviously hardback as well, and just great for reference for games and things like that. What to add to your want list, and just general information. And he also has a ton more books planned. He posted this image on his Twitter account uh, not too long ago. So coming out later this year is a book on uh, 3D platformers, which I am all over, and the N64 guide. And he's currently working on the Dreamcast guide as well. So I'm really excited for that one, actually, because the Dreamcast was a system that I slept on for so long, and I'm only just now really starting to enjoy it. So a book going over all the games, definitely something I want to check out. So I'm Big Cal, thanks for watching. Check out the uh, Encyclopedia books from Chris Scullion, again, sorry if that's not how you pronounce your name. Check them out, let me know what you think of them down in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.